Welcome again to Educator.com, and now we are continuing our issue of these argumentative, truth-seeking, logical papers. And we're going to go over issues, reasons, and conclusions. So let's just quickly overview from the last lesson. Um, we're going to go about, for this lesson, we're going to go over some concepts to be learned. And one of these things is going to be, well, what is an issue? What do I mean when I say that? And we're going to go over the conclusions to that issue, which are the right kinds of opinions. Remember in that last lesson, we kind of talked about how, well, everybody has opinions and aren't just facts and opinions. Opinions are what most people argue about. Then we're going to talk about reasons. Then I'm going to give you a little introduction to actually evaluating those reasons. And by evaluating, I mean you're kind of deciding whether or not these reasons are really good, or whether they're absolutely terrible, or whether you're laughing at them, or whether you know you think that they're great and convincing. Now, what's the best way to learn about issues and conclusion? Well, imagine right now you are on a jury and the prosecuting attorney has this to say at the end of the trial. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you are ready to deliberate the case. I urge you to find Miss Scarlett guilty of the murder of Mr. Body. Do not forget these facts. First, Mr. Body was killed with a blunt object. You were presented with a lead pipe. Whose fingerprints were on it? Miss Scarlett's. Miss Scarlett insists that she was at a ball on the night of the murder, but who witnessed her at the ball? No one. Furthermore, Mr. Body was ready to write Miss Scarlett out of his will. In light of that fact, Miss Scarlett had motive. Therefore, Miss Scarlett stands guilty before you today. Think about all the things I've just highlighted. I've highlighted a couple keywords for you. Maybe this one's familiar first. How about this one though? Have you seen this one yet? In light of that fact? We'll be learning about that keyword later. There was also furthermore, and we had this right here. Why is this question being asked? Well, it's a rhetorical question. What's this person's opinion of Miss Scarlet? Ask yourself that right now, that she's guilty. So the most important question that we're going to go over whenever we're reading something and we're asking questions is, what is the issue? Well, in this preceding example, the issue is this. Did Miss Scarlet murder Mr. Body? And how we answer that question is going to be the conclusion.